Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Let me make sure I got that uh, in the right spot. I got that in. The, oh, see, now that's going to make all the difference in the world right there. How y'all doing this morning? My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here. If you are, um, let's see, if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, tune in, iTunes, Stitcher, what have you, or you're watching on YouTube, that's fantastic. Be sure and give us a thumbs up in that uh, venue as well. But at some point, I need you to head on over to 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you can join in with folks like Joe, who have already left a comment, said good morning. Always enjoy getting those uh, morning greetings, seeing who's watching. And I realized I actually said something about this yesterday, and I did... Did the show yesterday from uh, Redstone Federal Credit Union. I was there early for a uh, to do a workshop on fishing where the fish are, but um, I, I so because I was doing it remotely, I used my phone, and, and the phone interface is a little different than this one that I use here. I can't see who's watching, so you have to leave me a comment here to let me know that you're there. All right. All right. So this week we've been talking about ugly babies, ugly babies. Now, just a quick refresher. You know, we've all seen those kids and said, wow, that's a face only a mother could love. Right. Well, so your ugly baby in the business that you start, that's the business that you really love and nobody else does. Nobody's buying your stuff. Nobody is. Um, Nobody's interested. And look, the the cruel reality of being in business is if if people aren't buying your stuff, it's because they don't want it. Now, why they don't want it, we can work on that a little bit. But the much better way to do it, I had an opportunity yesterday after the the workshop yesterday to talk with a uh, a gentleman who's starting a business. I'm like, look, you you have. The, the entire, um, world of opportunity in front of you. Find a market that you want to serve. Find a problem that they have and solve that problem. That's the better way to do it. But let's say just for the sake of argument today, I want to talk about what if you have created an ugly baby, right? You've created, you, you had an idea. You said, this idea is fantastic. I'm going to take this, run with it, grow this. And you built it, maybe you put a lot of time and effort and, and emotion into it and maybe a lot of money into it and nobody's buying it. What do you do? Well, you first have to find out, let's go back to our saying, people don't buy your stuff because they don't want it. You have to figure out why they don't want it. Sometimes that's recoverable, okay? Maybe they don't want it because they don't know about it. Maybe they don't want it because they don't understand what it does or, or the value that it creates. You know, if that's the case, then those are recoverable. We can, um, you know, broaden our exposure of the product. We can do a better job of explaining it, maybe a better name for it. I mean, but, but those kinds of things are recoverable. If on the other hand, there is no market for it. Right, then there's really only one thing that you should do. Now, you know, how do you tell if there's no market? Well, you know, is anybody else selling it? Maybe everybody else is selling it. I mean, here's a great example t shirts. Everybody and their brother selling t shirts. Market is completely saturated. If you can't sell a t shirt, then you're not creating the, the I mean, the whole mechanism is there laid out for you. If you can't sell a t-shirt, then it's because you're not creating the product that people want, right? Um, or you're not getting it out in front of enough people. If you've created a product that nobody wants, you, you've got to, you got to cut bait. 
it's you, you know as i used to say in uh in poker playing days don't be married to the pot you know going all in doesn't make a bad hand better <laughs> it, it might fool some people it might give them pause but if you got crap it's still going to be crap even after you put all your chips in and then you're just broke with a crap hand right so as you do this analysis, as you look and, and investigate, why aren't people buying this product? Why, you know, why don't they want it? If the answer that comes back is there's just not a market for it, man, you got to lock that thing off. You got to cut your losses. And that's a, that's a hard truth, especially looking. I, I get it, man. When you have, emotionally invested in this outcome and it's and and people just don't don't see it the same way you do that can feel like a very personal slight right oh that was a dumb idea oh you're not smart oh that was stupid right those are all the things we say in our head people aren't saying that yeah maybe some mean people are but who cares about them People aren't saying that. That's what we say to ourselves. We don't have to think about it that way, right? I mean, it's it's a learning experience. You know, I'm I'm working on a, a talk that I'm going to give next week about learning. And in fact, let me get a couple of stats out here. I wasn't planning on talking about this today. So let me flip over here. James Dyson. James Dyson, the guy that invented the uh, the bagless vacuum cleaner, the Dyson vacuum cleaner, he he created over the course of 40, 40, 40 years, five thousand one hundred and twenty six prototypes. Five thousand one hundred and twenty six. I don't know. I'm not sure. I would have kept going. <laughs> I mean, that's just, you know, that's a lot. But now his company's worth four and a half billion dollars. So if this idea that you had is not panning out, right, you've created an ugly baby, man, as the old saying goes, throw that thing out with the dishwater. Learn from that. Okay, this doesn't work. Okay, maybe I should find a market first and then solve a problem for them. Learn from that and then... Try again. 5,126 times if you have to. Do whatever it takes to be successful. Learning. Learning from the things that don't work makes them worth it. If we don't learn anything from them, from them then it wasn't worth it. Right? So don't do that. Be sure to learn something. Thank you so much for being here today. Look, it is Wednesday. That means uh, normally it is coffee shop show today. I have a scheduling conflict. I'm not going to be able to be there. I'm not, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure what Eric's schedule is going to look like this morning, how, when, or where he's going to do the show. Tune in for that, coffeeshopshow.com. Get you the right place. Uh, tomorrow, I want to, one last chance to uh, get in on this deal. Coffee and coaching tomorrow morning, 7.30. Uh, and you can find out all about that. That's me and my friend Stephen Levy. We'll be talking about creating a vision for your business and structuring your business to execute on our strategic planning, rather, on how to execute on that vision. So, um, you know, if you can benefit from putting together a plan, and we all can, then you should come. Coffeeandcoaching.us, all spelled out, all long words, Coffee and Coaching. Dot us get you to the right place. I'll be back here again in the morning with another brand new installment. Seven minutes in the morning. Until then, you guys have a fantastic day.